Okay, welcome to tonight's homework help for Tuesday night, September 4th, 2012. Uh, we're starting with operations with integers and dividing in integers specifically. Please don't forget to put your entire first and last name, the date. Uh, I'm asking that you put your period and actually put your group number now too, the one that you sit at, as well as circle your teacher's name. So dividing with integers, tell whether each quotient is positive or negative. So all we have to do is look, we have one negative and another negative. The quotient will be the answer that we get. So I look at two negatives. If I have, that's a positive and a positive, that's a negative and a positive, positive and a negative. Here is a negative and a negative, which is what we have here. So a negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive. So then we just write positive. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's take a look at, uh, let's say, let's take a look at number eight. Oh, no, we already did. Uh, number eight's too easy. Let's look at number five as well. So number five, uh, we're looking at a positive divided by a negative. So that's this scenario here where we have a positive divided by a negative that gives us a negative. So our answer will then be negative. For the second part of this, uh, for the bottom half here, we actually have to find the actual quotients here. So it says find each quotient. So you're expected to do 12 through all the way through 32. So please do them all because I noticed in some of the homeworks last week people weren't doing all of the problems and then they missed some points. So I'll do one from each column just to get you guys started off. So 24 divided by a negative 2, I know a positive divided by a negative is going to give me a negative answer, and I have to give 24 divided by 2, I know is 12. I'll do 25, number 25 here, negative 54 divided by 9, I know that's a negative divided by a positive is going to give me a negative, um, and you can reference your uh, box at the top of this um, uh, worksheet, and that'll help you figure out. But uh, this is a negative divided by a positive is a negative. 54 divided by 9 is 6. Okay. And then we'll try number 32. Okay. We have 6 divided by a negative 3. I know a positive divided by a negative is also a negative. So 6 divided by 3 would leave me a 2. So the answer is negative 2. Uh, moving on to the back side. Okay, now we're on the back side, uh, reading books. The students at Horace Mann Elementary School are reading books. This group of students recorded the number of books they read this week. Here are the results. So here we have all the students that read books and the amount of books that they read. Show the results in this frequency chart. Andrew read 10 books, uh, and it shows right there. Andrew read 10 books. David read 4 books, uh, and it shows right there. David read 4 books. I'll do the next one. So it says Ellen read how many books? We don't have it in there, but it says here that she read three books. So I just move on to, or I just add a three right there. Uh, please um, be sure and fill out the rest uh, for Lionel, Maria, and Rosie. Okay, and then for problem for part two. Now show the same results on this bar graph below. Books read in a week. Okay, well, um, it said Andrew had read 10, and there's his 10, and it said David actually had read 4. That's what it said up there, but it's not on this bar graph. So I'll shade in 4 on down for David, because as you can see, it says here David read 4 books. So I'd like you to shade in and fill in the rest of these as well, okay? And that's the easy side of the homework. Uh, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!